So now let's see how we can use stamps inside of Snagit Editor. So in order to use stamps, simply go up over here onto the top where you can find the stamp option. So over here, stamp are just different icons that you can bring in right here. So these are some icons that you can bring in over here. You can also search for specific stamps that you want to use from right over here. So you can see that there's this uh, stamp right here. Let's say, for example, if I were to type in music, then you can see that there's a musical type of a stamp right here. I can simply come up over here and click and the music stamp is there just like that, as you can see. So let me just go around and use other type of stamps so I can get this paper clip, click it and the paper clip is here. So I can click this, I can increase uh, the size of this just like this and I can rotate it around as well just like this. So I can go around, rotate this around, click this and rotate this around as well. So stamps are like you go and click over here and you can change the existing stamps as well or deselect it and then select another stamp, click in different places and they are there. They are placed just like a stamp right over here. So let's say for example, you want something uh, like activity related right here. Then you got activity stamps right here. You got symbols right over here, just like this, like click, uh, mouse click button right here, just like that. You can go around and change it out just like that. You can change around the shadow of the stamp as well, just like that, change the opacity of the stamp over here and change the shadow color of the stamp as well just like that change the shadow color go around here say choose the distance of the shadow opacity blurness of the shadow and angle of the shadow just like that as you can see so that is how you simply use stamps inside of uh, snagit editor so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe